is Friday. It is the 31st of January. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center live from Hong Kong, and we are bringing you a special presentation today an exclusive interview with U.S. President Barack Obama, his first since Tuesday's State of the Union address. First, he was found guilty of murder less than 24 hours ago and told not to leave the country. But right now, Raffaele Solecito is in an Italian police station after being stopped near the border with Austria and Slovenia. Police say they picked him up in a hotel in the northern town of Udine, although he's not been arrested. On Thursday, Solecito and his former girlfriend, Amanda Knox, were convicted of the murder of a British student, Meredith Kircher, in 2007. Speaking Speaking earlier, Meredith's brother described the heavy toll the case has taken on the family. Well, let's join CNN's Aaron McLaughlin in Florence, Italy, where the verdict was decided yesterday. Aaron, what happens now? Hi, Monita. Well, Me Meredith Kircher's brother and sister, Lyle and Stephanie. All right, Aaron, thank you very much for that. Aaron McLaughlin, they're live for us from Florence. Some of the other stories that we're following for you here at CNN News Center. The honeymoon murder suspect has lost his bid to block his extradition to South Africa. Shreen Dewani had argued that he shouldn't be sent there until he is fit to stand trial, citing mental health issues. He is accused of ordering the killing of his new bride while on their honeymoon in Cape Town. U.S. authorities say surviving Boston bombing suspect Zokar Sarnayev will face the death penalty. Sarnayev will be tried on 30 counts stemming from last April's bombing at the city's marathon that killed three people and injured more than 250 others. The first round of Syrian peace talks in Geneva wraps up in just a few hours without a clear resolution. But U.N. mediator Lakhdar Brahimi has said all along it will be a long road to peace and any progress will be slow. Talks are due to resume February 10th. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry will meet uh, for the first time with, Kiev, uh, with uh, key Ukrainian opposition figures. This comes as negotiations to end Ukraine's political crisis are now in limbo. Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych is on sick leave for what his office calls is an acute respiratory infection. Anti-government protesters in Thailand say they will keep on demonstrating ahead of an election this Sunday. Protesters have been campaigning for months against Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat. Yingluck's party is expected to win Sunday's election. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. U.S. President Barack Obama speaks to CNN in his first interview since his State of the Union address. Don't miss our exclusive when we return. CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. Now to a CNN exclusive. U.S. President Barack Obama spoke to CNN's Jake Tapper in his first interview since his State of the Union address. Here's part one. Thanks for doing this, Mr. President. Great to be with you, Jake. So your big push in the State of the Union and here is whatever you cannot accomplish with Congress, you will take executive action or issue executive orders. How much can you really accomplish doing that? Well, first of all, my big push is making sure we're focused on opportunity, making sure that every single day, all of us in Washington are trying to think about ways that we can help. You've been watching an exclusive interview with President Barack Obama right here on CNN News Center. Do stay with us. We'll have more of that interview coming up right after the break. CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Marijuana, secret surveillance, the Winter Olympics, those were just some of the topics covered when President Barack Obama sat down with CNN's Jake Tapper. Here's the second part of that interview. Another big issue in this country right now has to do with the legalization of marijuana. You gave an interview to the New Yorker's David Remnick, um, and you said that you thought smoking pot was a bad habit, but you didn't think it was any worse for a person uh, than drinking. Now, that contradicts the official Obama administration policy, both on the website of the Office of National Drug Control policy, uh, and also the fact that marijuana is considered a Schedule One narcotic along with heroin and ecstasy. Now, do you think you were maybe talking just a little too casually about it with Remnick and The New Yorker, or are you considering not making marijuana 
a Schedule One narcotic? Well, first of all, uh, what is and isn't a Schedule One narcotic is uh, a job for Congress. It's I not think it's the DEA it's, that is it. Appreciate it. U.S. President Barack Obama speaking to CNN's Jake Tapper, discussing the risk of a terror attack at next week's Winter Olympics. He also shared his views on the use of marijuana and the way the scandal over secret surveillance was handled. You are watching CNN News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I'll update you the news headlines in just a couple of minutes. We leave you, though, with some pictures of Lunar New Year celebrations in China as people across Asia say goodbye to the year of the snake and ring in the year of the horse.